Hello everyone, surprise, 7am and here we are with a video update, you wasn't expecting that, was you? So, uh, it's going to be a very busy day today at Gaz Weatherby, so uh, we've got four videos to do for you uh, today. So I thought we'd get the ECM WF 42 day, uh, you know, up nice and early, so I'm recording this uh, like half past 11 at night, you're going to see it from 7am on uh, YouTube, I will eventually get it onto the uh, ECM uh, page at Galsobis.com as well, um, but but yeah, anybody around YouTube at 7am is going to have a bit of a surprise this morning, the reason is that we've got Jamie Fry, we've got a 10 to 14 day, and also the, uh, the latest Easter update coming up for you today. Day, so that will be like this evening. So, so I thought we'd do something a little bit different and just see how many people are around uh, to 7 a.m. To, to watch this. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, uh, for, for being with me at this time of the morning. I'm going to be asleep, uh, probably. Uh, I'll be passed out in bed. Uh, but you're still with me in a way, aren't you? Uh, anyway, I just get on with this for you in a moment. Um, uh, and just to say, well, I've told you what's coming up later on, actually, haven't I already? So we've got Jay Friday, 10 to 14 there, and the uh, and the Easter update. Big thank you to to um, ECMDF.int for supplying us with these charts. Let's get on with it, shall we? We're gonna start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly, which will take us from the 29th of March to the 5th of April. Next week we'll have a high pressure over the UK and Ireland and out into the west into the North Atlantic. Low pressure will be over Scandinavia. We'll be sending the jet stream through something a little bit like that. So quite a bit of dry weather to come in the week ahead, but there will be a rather cool sort of uh, northwesterly type influence. Uh, week uh, 1, 500 millibar height anomaly has above average heights through the North Atlantic going up towards Greenland. To have low pressure in over Scandinavia, below average heights through there. Jet stream and wind flow will be doing something a little bit like that. A lot of dry weather, but we could be starting to pull in cooler air from the northwest. Uh, week 1 temperature anomaly from the 29th of March to the 5th of April is rather cooler than average, uh, or near normal to slightly cooler than average for Ireland and the UK. And it is a rather drier than average week coming up as well. Uh, from the 29th of uh, March to the 5th of April, rather drier than average too. Right, that's week one done. Let's have a look at week two, 5th through to the 12th of April. Uh, look at this, we're going back to the pattern we have through the winter. Mid-Atlantic Ridge heading up towards Greenland and Iceland could well be pulling in Quite cold winds from the north and from the northeast as well. We two 500 millibar height anomaly from the 5th through to the 12th of uh, April confirms this. Again, above average heights through North Atlantic up to Greenland, trough of below average heights uh, through Scandinavia and western parts of Europe. The uh, wind flow and jet stream doing something a little bit like that. So uh, definitely we could be pulling in quite cold air from the north and from the northeast as well. With that trough of low pressure, we could have quite a bit of wet weather across the northern and western parts of Europe, maybe even the risk of some wintry conditions. Let's see what temperature anomalies are doing. They're colder than average. Look at this, cold on average week from the, fifth, uh, from the 5th through to the 12th of April. Below average temperatures for UK and I, in fact, most parts of Northern and Western Europe are coming out colder than average there. And the precipitation anomaly for week two showing uh, no signal. You can see where the blocking is, though, can't you? See where the high pressure is in the North Atlantic up to Greenland. Otherwise, uh, again, no particular signal for precipitation. But I reckon it would be a more unsettled week and rather a cold, cold week too. Week three uh, is going to take us from the 12th through to the 19th of April. More changes. This time we've got high pressure through the UK and much of sort of Western, Eastern and also Southern Europe as well. So just a lot of high pressure in control, low pressure up towards Scandinavia. Could still be bringing in wind on the northwest uh, and jet stream on the northwest southeast uh, trajectory. But overall, I think that's probably a dry and rather milder uh, week uh, coming up there in the third week of uh, April. 500 millibar height anomaly, again, showing the high pressure uh, through here, low pressure's up here, jet stream wind flow, we'll be doing something a little bit like that. Week 3 temperature anomaly from the top to the 19th of April shows a slight 
actually below average temperatures still. UK and Ireland. Generally, it looks like more parts of Europe are getting milder here, though, doesn't it? The third week of the month. And the precipitation anomaly, very weak signals uh, once again. Let's head through to week four. This takes us from the 19th to 26th of April. Lower pressure begins to uh, reappear around uh, Iceland to the north of Scotland. And winds will probably start to go more westerly now. Otherwise, it's a very weak signal, but maybe starting to turn a little bit more unsettled. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar high time. It definitely looks more unsettled, doesn't it? Low pressure around Iceland to the north of Scotland. Winds going to be coming in from the west, rather Atlantic driven and rather westerly. Week four temperature anomaly. Still, it's a little bit cool, actually. The wind must be coming off Greenland. So, uh, despite the fact that it's a more Atlantic-driven type pattern, it is still a little bit on the cool side, if anything, for uh, Ireland and uh, the British Isles. And the week four precipitation anomaly. Again, really weak signals. That's been a trend with this update today uh, so far. But uh, uh, maybe, if anything, hinting towards something a little bit on the wetter side with that low pressure taking over. Uh, around Iceland to Scotland. Week 5 will be the 26th of April to the 3rd of March. No signal at all uh, for mean sea level pressure anomaly. Week 5, 500 millibar high tsunami doesn't really have much of a signal either, although there is some higher pressure uh, towards Scandinavia and back into western parts of Russia. Week 5 temperature anomaly looks like that. So, uh, my own now for much of Northern Europe, no signal for Ireland and the UK. And week five precipitation anomaly, again, doesn't really have, <laughs> have much of a signal. And then we finish off with week six, which takes us from the third through to the 10th of May. Um, now, this could be quite pleasant. This could be better. So, some higher pressure then appearing over and slightly to the east of the UK towards Scandinavia will probably be bringing in like an easterly, maybe a southeasterly flow that might be starting to get warm. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. That looks very pleasant as well, doesn't it? Above average heights over to the east of the country. Uh, again, you would envisage that we're drawing up wind from like a south southeasterly direction. Um, week six, precipitation anomaly. Above average, a mild average week being predicted there, not just the UK, but through most parts of Northern and Western Europe. And finally, the week six, precipitation anomaly. Doesn't have much of a signal, but probably hints at going a little bit on the drier side, if anything, for Northern and Western parts of Europe. So we end up with some quite nice weather. Um, uh, later on in May, but before that, we have uh, we have uh, like a cold period to go to get through uh, during April, and then a, a, and then a period that goes very very uh, uncertain indeed. So the second half of April, uh, where where virtually anything could, could be going on in that period, but we do finish up with quite a nice May. Right, that's it. Everybody back to bed. It's seven o'clock in the morning, so so uh, you know I have breakfast. Uh, oh, <laughs> get yourself back to bed. It's up to you. Uh, I shall see you later on uh, when I'm awake uh, and have my breakfast. I'll see you later on with JMA Friday. And then we'll have a 10 to 14 day for you as well. Tonight we're going to have the latest Easter update. For the ECMWF 42 day forecast at 7am. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.